What's up, y'all? I got a film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. Girl, Chris is back. Chris is back. And uh, he is naming it Clock It With Chris. I'm going to let y'all know right now, I like the name. Let's see what you're talking about. And of course, Clock It With Chris, Corey going outside, Clarence need to put a ring on it, and more. Messy Friday. What's today? Is it Messy Monday? Is today Monday? Oh. Okay. Why I ain't seen you in a minute. What's good, twin? How you been? How you been? But boy, I ain't seen you in a minute. Look, man. We are officially back on the tool. And we are doing... Bro, please listen to me. I need y'all to watch this whole video through. Because y'all gonna be messy with Chris every single Friday. I know I'm posting on a Monday today, but I just want y'all to... This is basically like my little introduction video for... Friday. Messy Friday. Gotcha. But we're not gonna call it Messy Friday. I'm not gonna post on Monday because I ain't. I don't want to step on Zoe toes. Cause I know Zoe do Messy Monday, so I'm gonna do Messy Friday. And I'm not gonna call it Messy Friday. It's gonna be T. Uh, clock that with Chris. Clock All it right? with Chris. All right. All right, Chris. So we gonna get into a loop, and then also whoever know how to make intros, make me an intro, man, and send it to my email, chrisellsbooking at gmail dot com. I'm gonna put it in the pen comments down below. So. Just in case somebody feeling generous, want to make me an intro to this, to the messy page, go, you know what I'm saying? So be it. I love y'all. I appreciate everybody from TikTok coming over to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are new to this channel, click subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Because if you don't turn on your post notifications, then you're not going to see when I upload. So when you subscribe, make sure you actually uh, uh, put on the post notifications. And now, let me go back to what I was saying the other day. I've been reacting to videos. I've been reacting since I started reacting to this nigga. Eight, nine years ago. And now he's doing. If I would have stopped. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Everybody is now wanting to stream. Everybody is now wanting to clock shit. Is given. I've been ahead this whole. <laughs> oh, my life. Okay, listen to Chris and his mess. Get messy, Chris. <laughs> and we doing this every Friday. I'm not missing no Friday. And he don't look old no. today. He just need to keep this cut, and he won't look old. He looks good. He looks back good again. Oh, let me ask y'all because we about to get into some tea real quick. But let me ask y'all one more quick little question. All right. Do y'all think I should do every Friday or I should or I should do like throughout the week? I should upload throughout the week or should I just do every Friday? Let's see how you do it first. Upload every Friday. You feel me? Let's Let see me how you do it first, Chris. Below. But without further ado, we got the first peon. We got the we got oh, somebody that's peon. going outside. Like real sad. Not peon no going outside. Mm, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. Oh yeah, I just moved into my crib, y'all. So like all of this is gonna be decorated. Uh, everything will be decorated. I'm gonna give y'all a little house tour too soon, but like, so excuse the mess right now. But look though, I ain't Man. gonna lie, we got the first peon, bro. Not peon, we have Corey in the house. We have Corey, potato bean, fat neck, big back. No, I'm just playing. Let me chill. I used to call Corey my twin. That's not my twin no more, bro. Been doing some real such things lately. I don't know if y'all seen it, but bro was in a dress, bro, trying to be like Tyler Perry. And it's cool if he was playing a movie role or something, but bro just wearing dresses just for the fun of it. That's tough. Now, didn't Chris wear a dress before? I ain't gonna lie, that's tough though. But I don't even want to make this whole thing about Corey, but Corey just been doing some dumb things lately. Like, he been with different females. I can't wait to Corey respond. Different females ever since Carmen left him. Now, my whole thing, the whole time I'm thinking, I just seen him on the shade room, kissed up with some girl. How does Zoe feel about this? <laughs> you gonna clock this tea today? Yo, when he said this shit the other day on oh, TikTok. Oh my god. Oh shit. Chris is normally not funny to me at all. I hate his humor. Oh, but today, baby. Ha <laughs> ha
He want Corey to say something to him. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> we gonna clock this tea today. Clock it, Chris. How does Zoe feel about... But my thing is, I don't think Zoe really tripping. Like, nah, I know I play a lot, but I'm being dead serious. I don't really think Zoe tripping because I feel like at the end of the day, Zoe know, Corey know where home at. Like, Zoe know these females ain't gonna last. Like, they basically pretty much rebounds. Now, my whole thing is, Corey, calm down, G. It's Corey in the house, not Corey outside. Stay in the house and chill with your bean burrito here that. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta chill, twin. Like, I know for a fact you're trying to find the same love that Carmen gave you and all these other women, but it's not gonna happen. Because Carmen, you feel me? Carmen really was there for you. Like, she really, like, Yo, you feel me? She stop. still don't about you, but you wanted to mess that up. And I know y'all probably thinking, like, Chris, shut up. Yes. Right message, but wrong messenger, right? But I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you being messy. It's not about me. I'm just, I'm really just glad. Y'all ain't messing bullying me no more. But now it's somebody else's turn. Because I've been getting bullied for six, seven plus years. Yes, you have. <laughs> and, and I got tired of y'all really. Oh, God, y'all bullied me off social media. But now I'm about to be messy with y'all. I'm about to join y'all. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. And I appreciate everybody who gave me this idea. I love y'all. Oh, God. Twin. Mm. Mm. But look, though. Anyways, back to Corey Big Bean Burrito. Hit that. Look, bro, why you don't like that, man? The light right first now? of all, we ain't even oh, we, we ain't even get into air the shenanigans bro been in. Bro, first of all, bro just paid the female 10k to be with her. 30. Man, I will smack boy. <sighs> Nigga paid a female 10k to be with him. Come on now, bro. What are you doing? I know you could have gave that to the man. Hold me back, G. Hold me back. Cause I'm really about to bro. Hold me back. Bro gave Shorty 10k to be with him. Like, what kind of simp? That's you not PG. All on bullshit raps you been putting out. I don't bet. I've been out here none. You talking about you P. You keep it P. You stand on business. Stand on business. Like, I don't want to hear none of that, G. Because who in their right mind going to pay a female 10K to be with him? Y'all seen that one movie with uh, uh Nick Cannon in it? And he basically paid this girl to be with him so he could be popular. That's basically what Corey doing. Corey in the house. Corey Pritchett. That's basically what bro doing. Yeah. Bro, you can't be doing that. Like, that's some peon stuff. You can't pay no female to be with you, G. Like, what? I don't know. Bro done lost his mind, bro. Bro going through it. I've been there, done that, bro. If you need somebody to talk to, just let me know, twin. Like, just, just, you feel me? Like, let me know, bro. Because, like, what you doing right now, I'm not. You feel me? I'm not doing that. But look, let's get into this little topic right here, right? So, Carmen got a little new boo. His name, like, Boogie, Boogie. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I ain't even gonna cap. But, bro, he's a rapper. If y'all don't know him, go look him up. So pretty much, I'm gonna show y'all the little, little little thing he posted. He posted a little post on Instagram, right? Where he was like, I'm gonna sum it up for y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, but I'm gonna sum it up too. He pretty much was like, I'm about to focus on myself. I ain't trying to focus on nobody else. I, I'm, I'm thinking he talking about Carmen. Ain't that what y'all thinking? I'm saying he, he basically said like, yo, I'm focusing on my daughter and my career and this and that, and I don't got time for nobody. I think Corey done ran him off. What y'all think? <laughs> Please don't be one of them niggas where, oh, if 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 y'all can't be happy together, she can't be happy with nobody else. Like, please don't be one of them men. Like, don't do that, twin. Like, for real. Like, I really slap you upside your head. Don't do that, twin. Like, for real. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let her be free. Let her. You feel me? Like, you ain't want her. You ain't want her. So let her be free, Corey. I'm just saying. But Boog done ran off, brother. Ran off. Like, 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 that's Appreciate crazy. this up, Corey. Bro. What you doing? I feel like I gotta cut it down again. Corey, the type that'd be looking in a in a window and shit. Like you feel me? Like calm down, Corey. Somebody, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody need to restrain, bro. Like <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. But look, then all right, look, then that ain't even it. That that ain't even it. We about to clock this tea, honey, on God. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we about to clock this tea for real because look, then I heard. Carmen grew some balls. When did Carmen grow balls, though? Same time Queen did. When did Carmen grow a pair of these? Because at the end of the day, she wasn't standing no business when she was with him because she took him back about 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15 times, child. But, but, <laughs> but now she done grew some balls because she was a rapper and she know he be holding that, you know, he be, he be holding that fire on him. You ain't sliming up for fucking me. You sliming, bring him back home. 
But look though, so Court, I mean Carmen and grew some balls, y'all. Um, bro, Carmen said, since you wanna pay these ten thousand to be with him, pay the debt to owe back. And I said, ooh, child. <laughs> I was sitting at my phone eating popcorn and I was laying in that bed right there. And I said, ooh, she did not just say that. <laughs> and then she posted screenshots, honey. It wasn't just, she ain't, she ain't just say all oh, he need to do. She posted screenshots of him on like 50, 60,000 on the house. He ain't stop, he stopped paying on. <laughs> Y'all don't hear that from me. Y'all better not snitch on me because I did not say that. Like, hey, Stop. somebody get this man. <laughs> oh, child. Next subject. Come on, we going to next. Come on, we doing. And I wasn't even supposed to be doing no messy, no little messy Friday. It was Monday, but look, you feel me? I wasn't supposed to begin. This is supposed to be my intro video, but we just had to. I'm gonna give y'all a little taste of what the channel gonna be. You feel me? But look, now we got this next subject, right? Uh -huh. So we have. DDG sister, I don't uh -huh. know if that's DDG sister, but T, I don't know who that, who sister it is. I don't know if that's, what's, what's big boy name? Oh, shit, Dub, dude. big potato, wet back. Oh, nasty. they don't like each other. Nasty, bro, Dub just look nasty. But look, though, I don't know if that's Dub sister or DDG. I don't even know if Dub and DDG actual real brothers. Like, I don't they know. They real brothers. Like, they don't look alike, so I really don't think they brothers, because Dub is the more. The fact that Chris is, is doing this, a time is about to be had, because. Some people gonna actually respond, reacting to all of it. Let me tell y'all something. We getting in a group chat tonight. I need at least five of y'all. We're on the. Oh well, Kia. Wait, Kia, Zara, and Chrissy already made. Wait, wait, Chrissy and Zara already made a group chat, right? I need three more people DDG in that group chat. More on the skinny side, so I don't know if they got the same mom and dad. Because if they did, like, how did you get DDG? Then how did you get Dub? Like, Dub definitely look like that little potato you used to take apart when you was younger. Mr. Potato Head used to take his glasses off and you put them back on. That's what Dub look like. But look, though, so anyway, so we got T, right? Basically, T told Brooklyn, like, Brooklyn, like, Jay Cinco new girlfriend here. Y'all following me, right? Oh, this, this, this getting juicy, twin. I ain't gonna I lie. Can't, I can't believe I'm being messy with y'all. We, we can't have that many people in the group chat. Just the people that's with the T. Uh... S N Y Coley, can you hit me on Instagram? Can you do it right now though? But look though, so we basically had, we basically got T telling Brooklyn like, yo, I'm hanging out with Jay Cinco, new girlfriend. Like, I hope you don't, you feel me? I hope you don't feel no type of way. And basically Brooklyn said, no, nah, it's cool. Like, you good. Like, you feel me? Like, as long as y'all not talking about me or you not, you feel me? Obviously, you know, T probably ain't gonna talk about, you know, you to her in a negative way, you feel me? But like, how y'all feel? Would y'all allow that? Like, would y'all allow your friend to hang out with your ex? I don't know. That's kind of, that's tough. That's tough. Think about it. Like, real. You're like, yo. so I don't know if y'all know, but J Cinco, J Cinco new boo. Jay Cinco knew Boo was hanging with TT, but TT told that girl name, the shave sister, that she was coming. And um, yeah, she they just didn't post that to social media, but um she said as long as TT ain't talking about her, she don't care. Like, I had a situation like that too. And I know I just posted on TikTok that I didn't really care that our mom Brooklyn. and Trey used to hang around, bro. Because when me and my ex broke up, obviously, like, they were still sister. Like, our mom used to still, was still sisters with uh with my ex. And then, you feel me, they if they still communicating and they hanging out, then obviously she got to see him. And I know I just posted on my TikTok, like, I ain't feel no type of way. Like, I think it's cool, but I lied. I felt the way, but I ain't tell them that. You feel me? Like, I ain't care. Like, a, a part of me, like, okay, it's cool because... Chris, you think we know? I don't know what our mind think. You you think the viewers didn't know? We knew. Shit, I would have been mad too. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's that's they sus. You feel me? So boom, boom, let it. So so be it. But I felt the way. I ain't gonna lie, sit here and lie like I'm just. You feel me, twin? Like come on now. I don't want my brothers hanging around nobody who talks shit about me. 
You feel me? That's just like the bro code. That's you feel me? I'm gonna stand on that. Like if my brothers got issues with anybody, I'm not gonna be cool with them. And I feel like like the Shay hanging out with Jay Cinco, like I, I wanna do He want all them to respond. You know what Chris is doing right now? He's playing the game of like, I'ma call everybody out. Like you know how you do rap beef? You just bring up everybody name. Everybody, everybody got their own little streams and shit going. He want everybody to put him on a stream. If they all get together and say I'm not, Chris is fucked. <laughs> if, if everybody get together and be like, man, we ain't responding to this shit. Chris is toast, okay? And all of them friends. Deshay, DDG, Dub, Clarence, Armand, I don't know about Trey. All of them are friends. So one hit the other one, man, don't respond to this. It's a wrap. But if they do respond, genius. <laughs> genius. Yeah, like if my sister broke up with a, with a nigga and I'm not about to still be doing videos of bro and this and that. Ooh, but I don't care if my sister was wrong or right. I don't care. I'm not doing video. I don't care if my sister broke his heart. I'm not going to be cool with bro no more. If that's my sister at the end of the day. I owe my loyalty to my sister. That's just how that's just how I operate, though. You feel me? Family over everything. So you think they going to respond? Day, I don't know. How y'all feel about that, though? It's giving everybody going to respond. And we talking about it. How y'all feel about it? It's going to be an amazing, just simply an amazing fall slash winter. Oh, my God. I'm about to go get my Nike text. Hey, this thing. I'm about to get my Nike text going. Bitch, it's gonna be a good time. Jane up to January. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time, baby. Oh, T hanging out with Jason go new girl. How y'all feel about that? I don't know. I'm just a messenger. Hey, all right, we about to get into this next topic. Uh-oh. So we got Lil Yachty, right? Lil Yachty, bro. Lil, I ain't gonna lie, Lil Yachty. I thought he's bringing up Clarence. Yachty done did, bro, crazy. Like, he done. I gotta look at that Lil Yachty shit, too. I ain't even gonna count. I need to look at that. So basically, he ain't looked at no celebrities. Basically, bro told. Bro told. I ain't even gonna tell you what bro told. Bro basically told a dude that he he cool with right one of his homies i guess he grew up with him i don't know this background of it but basically they got a podcast together and pretty much he was like you wouldn't be none without me now i feel like that's kind of messed up at the end of the day even though what you're saying is true i feel like that shouldn't have been a story for social media you feel me like yeah. if i had a homie that i brought up I'm not about to tell him, like, you wouldn't be none without me. You ain't had no job. You ain't do this, do this. It's, it's, it's a time and place for everything, you feel me? I feel like he's not wrong for speaking how he feel, but I just feel like it was wrong for him to put it on a podcast. He could have, I'm pretty sure he already understood that. Like, he understood, like, he probably wouldn't be nothing without Lil Yachty. But at the end of the day, why would you even bring that upon a channel? Like, bring that, say that to the public, you feel me? Like, I don't, I wouldn't do that. So how, what y'all feel about that? Do y'all think bro was wrong or do y'all think bro was right? But I'm not. My partners, I'm not doing that, twin. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to tell y'all right now. The person that really helped a lot of people attain some of these riches today started with Mr. Christopher Sales. And one thing I can say is he probably the only one? He wasn't humble at the time. So don't get me wrong. He was not humble at the time. No. He was sounding like Corey. Yes. However, he wasn't throwing it up in everybody's face that he put him on. I will say that. He wasn't. The money, he was getting real um, ridiculous with the money. Like, he was sounding like Corey with the money. But he ain't throwing, you know... That all up in everybody's face. I will say that. Didn't. All right, next topic, man. We got Chris Sales. So Chris Sales, 
um, made a TikTok that kind of went viral. It hit the shade room. The TikTok went viral. And pretty much, bro, was saying, like, if a guy don't marry you within six years of y'all dating, then he just don't like you. And I'm going to stand on that. You feel me? You heard? I'm standing on that. I don't, ain't nobody about to tell me otherwise, bro, because I'm a guy. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm being truthful. Like, I see everybody else talk about it. Why can't I talk about it? I got to shut my mouth because I was with her. Like, no, nigga, this ain't how that go. I don't care. Like, I'm going to talk about it because everybody else talking about it, Twain. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, I said what I said. If a, if a, I'm, and I'm going to say it again. And if a nigga want to do something about it, I'm going to drop my Addy. What are you talking about, Twain? You heard? But look, though, I feel like if a dude, if you've been dating a dude for six plus years and he still haven't married you, why are y'all still in a relationship? Because the goal is to... Ain't, ain't the goal is marriage? No. Or am I tripping? Yes. Ain't you? I'm not. The a, goal is not marriage for everybody. Like this, it, this um Cam Newton shit is really going viral right now. And to be honest, y'all, these men, these men that make a lot of money and dealing with a lot of women that are respectfully after their money, they should not just be ready to go put their money up for auction without a prenuptial agreement if I were Cam Newton or if I were Nick Cannon. Um, marriage is a business. And a lot of y'all, you know, felt some type of way when I said that. It's a business. My daddy told me that immediately. It's a business. Y'all want to know why it's a business? When you get in a marriage... What's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours, literally. Our names are connected. Our money is connected, everything. If it wasn't a business, then why is that involved? If, it, if it's not a business, why is money involved? If it's not a business, why is paperwork involved? It don't matter how y'all cut it, slice it, whatever. It's a fucking business, okay? It don't matter how you see it. Everybody ain't ready to sign their life away. Who knows where we'll be the next 10 years? Like, for real. Everybody looking at marriage a little differently and people feeling the type of way. This shit real out here, boy. It, it's easy as hell to get married. Like Honey so I said the other day, it's easy as hell to get married, but hard as hell to get out of it. Like, Imagine y'all have just grown apart, right? Y'all have grown apart. Y'all just not really feeling each other. And you want to move on. And the fucking government, the city, whoever tell you, oh, y'all got to be separated for a year first. If I was able to get married within a week when I went to the courthouse, how are y'all able to tell me I got to be separated for a year. Why are y'all able to tell me that? So everybody on people, the shit that they went through with their divorce, Chris and damn queen, that was a mess. <laughs> like that was a hot ass mess. And you telling me I got to wait a year to be separated from a person I've grown apart from. It's some people out here that's still married, that's in other relationships because they've grown apart from the marriage, but they just want to be with other people. <laughs> like, I know a couple like that, <laughs> literally. But they getting along, ain't no beef, they raising the kids and shit. It's just the government <laughs> is saying, y'all got to be separated first. Man, get the Look at what Corey and Carmen going through. And y'all think somebody is ready to just dive in that? Man, hell no. I don't get it. I don't get the infatuation for marriage with some of y'all. Getting with somebody and I'm just staying with them and I'm not trying to marry them. And this nigga just trolling. Because he married her and did exactly what I'm talking about. He married, he, this, he is a great example. He married Queen. Started getting some money. 
completely flipped on her, embarrassed her to the end of time. Filling on women out in public, admitting to having sex with women in public. I mean, she was embarrassed. She had to get out the house, had to go live with Jazz and them. Then ended up meeting a nigga, uh, you know, I'm just saying, meeting Clarence and um, getting in a relationship. They had to build a new thing. They had to talk about how she wasn't being a good mom because she, because baby CJ wasn't right there. You know what I'm saying? He took the Jeep back. This, all of this is public information. And they had to wait a while to get divorced. Y'all, please. Miss me with that. So are you saying no one should get married? I'm saying no one should, um, no one should project that on other people. So if you want to get married, get married. But why give Clarence and Queen hell for not getting married yet? Or why give Clarence and Queen hell or whoever um, for not getting proposed yet? If you're the type of person that want to get married, your partner want to get married, yeah, that's amongst y'all. That's y'all's union. Y'all talk about it. Y'all got the understanding. Maybe it's a prenup of all. Maybe not. Whatever the fuck is going on. Y'all have that understanding. Why project that onto somebody else who, who ain't ready? That's all. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, if you want to get married, get married. Do you, boo-boo? What y'all eat don't make me shit. What y'all got going on in your household? I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's my whole point. Why everybody else give a damn? We know Chris trolling. But I'm talking about to all the people like in real life, they really upset that Clarence has not proposed to her. And I think that's a projection. I think that they want to get proposed to. I think that they feel some type of way that they're not married. I think that they feel like if we had this union, if, if I had that union, I would get married. If Queen would treat me like that, I would get married. If, if Clarence looked like that, I would get married. That ain't nothing but a projection. If you want that, you go get that. You go get married. Everything that glitter ain't gold. So I just... If you want to get married, though, do you, boo-boo? I don't get it. Like, I'm not... I'm personally not... But this man is trolling. I give, for me, I give about three years to see if I want to marry you or not. If I don't want to marry you, we breaking up because I can't see my future with you or I can't see the rest of my life with you. But if I do want to marry you and I can see myself marrying you, then I'm going to put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh-oh, 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 yeah. But look, though, I said what I said, and, and I'm going to just be real. You feel me? Like, That's how y'all feel? What's your opinion? That's it. And then Shay Room trying to be grimy and go do me grimy to my son. Queen Naja X says this about Mary. Stop doing that, twin. If I really who behind Shay Room? Cause I want to meet him. I just want to talk. <laughs> I just want to talk. That's all I want. I ain't go. I ain't go do none of that, twin. I just want to talk. Who behind Shay Room? Somebody let me know. But anyways, how y'all feel? How y'all feel about that whole situation? Because hey, what I said, I'm I'm just saying things that y'all thinking and some people scared to say i don't like bro with her i've been doing that for I years i want her to be happy and go love twin i'm not stuck on her i'm not i swear to god on my kids i'm not i put this on everything i love that nigga said he don't like clarence with queen i think a lot of y'all have grown to not like clarence with queen well it kind of started off like that i'm gonna say this though If Queen wants to get married and she sees herself, you know, being married and uh, you know, walking down the aisle and things like that, and if Clarence is not ready for that, then maybe they should call it a queen. Hopefully they're not staying together for everybody else. If that's something he don't want and that's something she want, I think she should go get what she wants. And um, he should get whatever he want. To be honest, I, I think he's kind of focused on his next moves of what he wants to do, like his clothing line and things like that. And I don't know. I haven't talked to Clarence. We ain't friends. I don't know. I'm just saying this is what I, I, I think. This is just my opinion. It just seems like he's, he's on a journey of his own, you know? 
And when you're on a journey of your own, thank you, friend. When you're on a journey of your own, it's hard. You know, I just had to talk with honey sauce. For the next 30 days, I kind of want to work out twice a day. Got my treadmill. I got my weights behind me right here at the computer. Work. Eat as healthy as I can. And just grind it out. Sometimes we're going to do 24 hour streams. I'm going to post up the air mattress right here. Go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Ask Honey Sauce how she feel about that. That, you know, as long as you get what it is that you need for you. We all on our own journey. She go downstairs, she work out. I walk downstairs, she working out. Some people would be like, damn, you just going to work out without me? You just going to do that without me? Like we all on our own little spiritual journey or, or whatever y'all want to call it. We are, we're on our own journey. So if, if Queen want to be married and Clarence don't, I need to reconsider. Of anybody that knows me know I don't, I already I don't care. I don't care about what she got going on. What he got going on. I've been past that. It's been six, seven plus years. But my thing is, if I want to talk about something, I'm going to talk about it. But I don't really like them. I'm just being honest. She can go do way better than bro. I'm just being honest. I don't even think bro came out with a clothing line since he first met her. He's been talking about the clothing line for six, seven years. I'm just <laughs> He's so shady today. He knew, Chris knew what he was doing today. Now, I don't think Clarence is going to respond, quite honestly, but, oh, shit. Everybody else is giving everybody else going to have something to say. But you know, Clarence might, hell, last time Clarence and Chris went back and forth, Clarence made $100,000 that month. Shit, I don't know why he won't do it again. I know why he won't do it again, because he over there making $100,000 a month on Snapchat. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't fucking want to do that. Yeah, his dry humor is funny as hell today. Today. I'm just being honest. And then I don't know how I'm just be I'm just being honest. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. Nobody's safe. And this is if you don't like my if you don't like my channel, then you, you can leave. You can leave. You can leave. Exit is that way. Okay? Hello? The door. Well, look though. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. About that whole situation. I'm just saying. I love y'all. This well, it was one supposed to be this long of a video, but I'm I'm about to get messy. I you know I love mess now. I love drama. I used to stay out of it, but now I love being messy. I see why y'all be being messy under them comments. This is actually fun. <laughs> it's actually fun. Okay? But look though, make sure y'all tune in to the Twitch because I am going live every day on Twitch and we're gonna be me being messy. So sometimes y'all don't have to wait for me to drop on Friday. Y'all can just be in the Twitch with me. You feel me? Like, it's going to be right here. Y'all can be on my Twitch. So make sure y'all go follow me on Twitch today because I'm going live tonight around 8 o'clock with y'all so we can talk and have fun and we can crack up and oh, we, we can, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, we can have fun. And then on top of that, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications. I love you guys. Call me back. <laughs> <laughs> I like call me back. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.